a first home point, but how frustrating is it that you couldn't turn it into three tonight? Uh, it should be three, you know. If you look at their goal, it's handball, it's blatant. Um, referees missed it, uh, linesman missed it, but that's just the way it's going at the moment. And you've got to look at the positives and say, what a finish, you know, what momentum we had from that goal going in. I think they had one, maybe a, two more chances. We were the aggressors tonight. Um, fitness. People were questioning it early in the year. We finished like a train today, you know. I thought the uh, the boys were superb towards the end there, and uh, and it looked like another five minutes we might have got another. But um, no, really pleased for a point, but we, we should have got more tonight. Over 90 minutes, did we work their goalkeeper enough for your liking? No, no. Um, we create so much um, hope, you know. We get into that final third so many times. Some of the crossing needs to be better, getting on the end of things needs to be better, hitting the target needs to be better. But when it counted... Lyndon popped up and uh, and it was a fantastic header that equalised. You know, uh, I didn't start him. Um, I know he's annoyed at that. Um, and Sinclair's been in great form, but Lyndon's come on and uh, and shown why he's uh, you know, he's he's a top striker. And uh, I'm sure both of them are going to get double figures this year. I've said that in the press publicly. I think both of them will be in double figures, which which will be fantastic for QPR because uh, we're creating chances. We're we're playing a different way. You know, I think. For, for Scotland, Lyndon gets a lot more chances, and I want to play like that. I want to I want to create those chances in the final third for him. And uh, he put his head on it, and uh, and it was a fantastic header. There's plenty to do on that. But um, the rest of the boys, you know, the work rate, um, the togetherness that we've got, uh, and the fans. Can I just say at the end there, thank you because you got right behind us. We wouldn't have done that without you. And <laughs> it's a loft end goal as well, which people have been crying out for. You know, that was superb to see go in. But um, I'm really disappointed that um, their first goal counted um, sometimes it goes against you and it's the rubber the green's just going against us at the moment you know but it'll come it'll come patience and, uh, and I'm sure we'll be okay it was getting late were you always confident that there was an equaliser coming you're talking to one of the most positive managers in the football league of course you know um, I'm confident after the final whistle sometimes never mind before it um, it was uh you know, I think I've got to mention Ilias and his endeavour. I thought he was absolutely superb tonight. You know, is uh, and, and the games, game after game that he keeps playing. <clears throat> you know, he's getting fitter and sharper, and he's gonna. He's a real thorn in people's side. You know, uh, Chris Willock. You know, again, more minutes for him, which was great. Charlie Kelman coming on, who hasn't been on for a, for a while. You know, and it's great to see him, and he's he's on the pitch when the goal goes in, and a great feeling for him. But you know, all round, I thought the whole group just worked their socks off. We're together, and at the end there, the fans they were just superb clapping us off because they've given everything. They've emptied the tank again. I know it's only a point, um, but we deserve so much more. It does feel as if Swansea would not have scored without that handball goal. How pleased were you generally with the defending? Yeah, r really pleased. You know, um, we're playing, um, you know, you know uh, for some reason people tag me with this this long ball thing. Uh, you know, you come and watch the game tonight. I think there was some fantastic football played, passing around the back. Some of the passes into our, our wing backs and our wide men were, were super, you know, real wrapped in. And then the, the passes into the your Ilias chairs, your Chris's, you know, we can go along as well when we need to. But, um, you know, um, and there's a shortcut to thinking for a few people when they just bill us as one thing. I think we're going to cause teams a lot of problems. Um, my only issue now is we've got two days before the next game. The TV, uh, the TV games are usually brilliant, and uh, the extrovert I am, I love them. But um, to be fair, I could have done with this one uh, just the day after because uh, the boys are going to have to recover quickly. Uh, we're going to have to get in the uh, in the ice baths, um, the recovery team, the medics, and uh, and the sports science department. It's their turn to work hard tomorrow. Get these boys back in place, and uh, I'm sure there'll be one or two changes for Friday. But we can start like we finished. Nobody can live with us in this league.